Hi, I'm Anna. I'm Zatch's assistant. In this video, Zatchery is going to talk all about the brand new announced Creality Sir Moon D3, a closer look here on Zatchery 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary and welcome to this video. Well, if you are brand new and never saw any of a closer look video on this YouTube channel before, let me introduce very briefly closer look in this type of video is me taking a closer look on something that is going to hit the market any soon. I don't have the printer standing right over here, so I cannot show you all the details, but before somebody is ever going to buy it, or maybe some influencers will get it, I don't know, but I will take a closer look on this 3D printer and tell you all about the things that I can find on the website and maybe also on videos. But in this video, I'm going to take a closer look on the website itself and what Creality says about the Sermon D3. Well, don't butcher me in the comments, please, because I try to make as informative videos as possible and giving my opinion what I think about the Sermon D3. Well, let's get into the video. The Sermon D3, don't confuse it with 3D, although it is a 3D printer. If you're going to look at this 3D printer and you look to the printer that is standing behind me, you can already see some similarities with this 3D printer. But does it look the same? Does this 3D printer is a newer version of the CR200B? It looks similar. We have also a display on the front side. These are the obvious things everybody can see. This 3D printer was announced, I guess, a few days earlier. And so this 3D printer is brand spanking new. Temperatures up to 300 degrees for 3D printing. Well, so it is a high temp printing 3D printer, uh, up to five times printing speed and multi printer control. That last one, if you hear it, you will think that with this 3D printer, you can control other printers as well. But that is not totally true. We will going to discuss about it a little bit later. It looks very similar like the cr 2 b We have a top cover, which looks like a hat. We also saw that on a other enclosed 3D printer, the CR5 Pro, if I'm not mistaken. That one, that one was a white 3D printer. It looks very stylish, very professional. Little Ultimaker kind of 3D printer vibes I got from that one. It's a fully enclosed 3d printer but it has to be fully enclosed because how else can you get a industrial grade machine with a 300 degrees printing temperature well if everything blows out of the printer you don't have anything to you know keep the heat in prototyping making jigs making fixtures and also design verification this 3d printer is fully focused on the industrial market when i hear something like this i'm very curious about the price because the if i'm not mistaken the cr5 pro was around the 1200 us dollars when it came out exclusive the hat piece this is going to be a very i think a printer that is around the 1500 to 2000 dollar price range and does a great stability a sturdy frame a very sturdy steel bottom plate i don't know how thick the bottom plate is but there is a eight millimeter aerospace aluminum top plate i don't know what they mean exactly with <laughs> aerospace aluminum sounds very fancy but the plate is something like this big if if you would ever move a aluminum plate like that thick don't drop it on your foot because that will hurt but aerospace aluminum profiles so if you are looking at it they don't look like the normal 20 20 20 40 30 30 or 40 40 aluminum extrusion which you find in most of the quality machines no these are some different kind of aluminum extrusions we also see 16 millimeters z axis linear shafts times two Hi, I'm Anna. 
I'm Zachary 3D Prints assistant for his YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, subscribe now to get awesome videos every week. You can also follow him on Twitter Zachary underscore Bergen. And we have a 12 millimeter aluminum alloy heat bed base. Heat bed base. It sounds like a little wrap, but anyways, like mentioned, all of the X, Y and Z axes are assisted with a stainless steel linear shaft of 60 HRC hardness. Which kind of hardness is that? Well, compare it with a knife, a normal knife from a little bit better quality. That is the type of hardness that you need to think about. Don't go for the dollar store knife. That is, I think, a little bit weaker hardness, but something like that. 720 hours between brackets, 30 days, nonstop, steady printing. Yeah, yeah. We are going to get to the aster uh, asterisk star. 8,000 hours failure free steady printing and those are all the data from creality lab well so 720 hours so 30 days full month only printing non-stop without having any issues i guess because they say non-stop steady printing so in my opinion that means you need to find a way to keep the printer eating your filaments away during the whole week uh, sorry whole month of printing i don't want to see the electrical bill because this 3d printer has a power supply unit of 500 watts but the other statement 8000 hours failure free steady printing that is a bold statement from creality because that means i calculated it divided over 24 hours that means that we have a 1205 days which makes 3.3 years of printing without any failure that would mean that back in the days of the and the 3 Pro and the 3 V2, maybe the end of five, they were printing with this printer 3.3 years ago. Or else it is a mathematical thing that they put on this machine in order to get their data. I mean, you don't have any nozzle issues. You don't have any clogging. You don't have any belts that needs to be replaced you never have to level your bed i mean failure free i think they should have set in brackets with normal maintenance with regularly checking if everything is okay then you will get some something like that but 3.3 years that is a pretty long time that they had this printer precision made to minimize mechanic arrows well if you want to get your 720 hours or 30 days non-stop printing without ever changing your filaments so the integrated x y axis guarantee system is cnc machined with 0.01 precision for seamless fit fit into where into the machine of course because it is designed like that quality timing belts so gates belts on the printer and pulleys. So I don't know which brand the pulleys are, but hey, they need to be from higher quality to get some industrial grade quality. They are saying here reliable extrusion at 300 degrees temperature. The Sprite dual gear direct drive extruder delivers strong extrusion and retraction force. Show. They call it the Sprite Dual Gear Direct Drive Extruder. But wasn't the Sprite Extruder looking differently? This is what the Sprite Extruder looks like. If I'm checking this, I don't think that this Sprite Extruder looks the same. So they have a, also a bimetal heat break. So copper alloy and titanium alloy 50 15 cooling fan and also on the other side there is one i have heard that creality works together with basf basf is is a very well known brand i know from a longer time they are also they were also working on filaments and stuff and now i see here that 
Corality works together with Bossef. What I found weird is that they branded Corality, but Bossef is also on the filament. So how the inside story exactly is, maybe I will cover it in another video as well. But 14 filaments at choice. So big, but also delicate. Ceremon D3, don't get me wrong, has an enormous 300 times 250 times 300 millimeter built volume. So this printing speed, this printing speed is special, I guess, because up to five times of printing speed. So the advanced stepper motor driver chip enables one to 256 micro stepping. I have no idea what that means, but they are saying here that if you are going to print in terms of a banshee, a normal banshee will take one hour and 30 minutes on a regular 3D printer, Creality Lab environment. On the Ceremon D3, this same banshee is printed in 40 minutes. That is fast. I mean, not as fast on maybe on a Voron or maybe on an other Core XY 3D printer. The technique what Creality uses on this machine makes this 3D printer faster. So I wanna say to Creality, why not using this same technique in a future 3D printer for the normal consumer, where we as, as users of those Creality machines can benefit of faster printing speeds. Connected for smarter way of working, remote printing. Well, we know from Creality Cloud that they exist. Nowadays, more printers are going to be on the market. If there is already Octoprint installed or uh, some integration with your ethernet, I have the QD Tech X Plus, there is already or Wi-Fi or RJ45 on it, so I can already transfer my files from the QD slicer. You can send the file over and it can be printed without any problem. Remote monitoring with a built-in webcam, users can monitor the printing process in real time on Creality Cloud. Time-lapse filming is also allowed. Well, it's saying like, hey, you have a camera, but Hey, you are allowed to use some time lapse. I don't know. I think that is poor translation. Uh, I hope that they are not actually saying, hey, you may use <laughs> time lapse filming. Hey, you are paying a lot of money for this machine. There is a camera built in and you are allowed to use time lapse filming. Okay. <laughs> no offense, Creality. So, scale up with multi printer control. This is also one of the features where I have some question marks with, because if you say scale it up with multi-printer control, you are saying that with this 3D printer, you have control over multiple 3D printers with this 3D printer. Yeah, I mean, it's in the wording, but anyways. There is a CR Touch ABL uh, system installed on it. Less cracking with heat contained. Is it a heated chamber? No, it is not. But the bed will be heated and it will make sure that the inside of this 3D printer is also, you know, nice. What I also see here on the picture, I see that the filament spool is on the inside of this 3D printer. But I'm not really sure if you are printing like PLA or some other filaments that don't need this, is there a way to put the spool outside? Is there a possibility for that? I don't see it here, but maybe it is. There are two built-in HEPA air filters to purify the uh, purify PM0.3 particles. And there is also a door sensor that if the printer is be opened by somebody, the printer sends an alarm pulse and quickly cool down, prevent a... Uh? So if you have those kind of coworkers in your office or in your workshop or somewhere in the company, and you have this, you want to ruin a decent print, you open the door mid print and you know what happens? There will be an alarm, the print will pause and will quickly cool down. So your print pops off and you can start all over. 
Well, I'll put the link from this 3D printer in the description of this video. There is no price at this moment visible or else I would have told you that. If you're still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. Did you know that? Well, now you know. You can support this channel on monthly base. There is a link of Patreon in the description of this video. You can also support me over on the YouTube channel memberships. There are some tiers, there are some nice kind of things that you can benefit if you support this channel on a monthly basis. If you want to support this channel just one time, there's a thanks button somewhere here. You can support this channel just one time and hey, if you don't want to support this channel at all financially, hey, no problem. You can like this video, you can subscribe if you are not subscribed and feel free to share this video on social media and we will see each other next time. Peace, bye-bye.